Hi, this is Kathy from Craft with Kathy. Thanks for joining me today. Just wanted to take a little bit of time to show you this month June's Club Couture offering. Club Couture is a um, subscription program which offers little crafting basically in an envelope. Each month it includes a unique designer or subscription member transfer that is 8 inches by 10 inches and three individual paste packets to complete your project. Our transfers are reusable eight to 12 times based upon appropriate use. And I'm going to take this month's um, transfer that is called Shine and I'm going to actually put it on a black canvas um, surface. And I'm not gonna use any of these paste packets. I'm gonna actually do something a little bit different. I'm gonna put these aside for something else, but I wanted to try something new, at least new for me, on this, um, on this transfer because I just love the wording and I love the design. And I mean, I could see this on T-shirts. Um, it's just, I don't know, I just think it's really cool and it's good. It's a quote by Maya Angelou and I absolutely love her. And I'm going to do the uh, add a little bit of surprise to this when I'm done, I guess. Anyway, this is a new process for me, so you'll see as I go along. So I'm taking it out of the little cellophane envelope. And our transfers are silk screen and vinyl. And the way they work is you apply paste over the transfer, the TLB and the vinyl, the clearer what appears to be white is the silk screen. And we push the paste through the transfer, through the silk screen onto the surface beneath it. And that basically imprints the surface beneath with the design. Before I can do that though, I need to do what's called fuzzy. And fuzzing is a process of taking the transfer, removing the backing, these are adhesive back transfers. This is the sticky side. You can kind of see that this, the reverse or the sticky that he's assigned is a little bit shinier than the front. And fuzzing is the process of deliberately applying fuzz or lint to the back of the transfer. And you might say, well, why would I, why on earth would I want to do that? And the idea is you want to make the adhesive not as strong so that when you lift the transfer off of the surface you've applied it to, you don't have to really tuck or stretch it at all. Our transfers can be used on canvas, obviously. Chalkboard is great. Dry erase boards, galvanized metal, glass, mirror. You could use it on a lot of different hard surfaces. Um, we can also use it on porous surfaces such as fabric. And when you use it on fabric, you want to use our ink. Anything that would need to be heat set, you want to use the ink instead of our chalkology paste. Today I'm going to be using the chalkology paste because I'm putting this on canvas. Anyway, this little subscription, this little club subscription, is only $19.99 per month plus tax. That includes the shipping. So you get an 8x10 transfer three individual paste packets and there's usually more than enough paste in each packet um, for an individual use so you I just keep them in the packet roll it down and save it for where I need to use it next or where I'd like to use it next and the transfer is reusable 8 to 12 times so what a deal for the price of a couple premium coffees basically you've got a crafting experience with a unique transfer that is only available to club members or to designers. So I'm going to apply this transfer to my surface. I want to just get it lined up a little bit here. I think I need it a little bit higher. Let's try that again. And then I want to smooth it down. Now, right here, I've just got a little air bubble. 
it's actually in the teal so it doesn't matter but if it was in the actual silk screen I'd want to lift it up and lie it flat down again so that my chalk paste comes through okay I'm going to use our shimmer gold paste to do this and just think in a second all right so I'm gonna apply the paste Oops. I'm laying this on a little bit thick I want to work at a nice pace. I don't want to take too long because I don't want my pace to dry. And I want to make sure that I have complete coverage, that I've gotten all of the silk screen with my paste. And I am putting this on a little bit thicker than normal just because of what I'm going to do once I lift it. Going back over, removing any excess paste and making sure there are no lines on my transfer. And then I'm putting the excess paste back into my jar. I deliberately have not use chalk paste on Maya Angelou's name yet. Okay, I'm gonna use this envelope to shield my work a little bit here. And I'm gonna lift off my transfer. I we'll always wanna pick up from the top or the left, top or bottom, top, left or right. You never wanna grab it by the corner because you don't wanna stretch it by pulling it on the bias. Just leave that attached for a moment. And I have some extra fine glitter here. I'm basically going to sprinkle all over my transfer and hope that I did this quick enough so that my chalk paste was still moist enough for my glitter to stick. This is my first time using glitter, so please bear with me. And I'm just patting it down a little bit, which I don't know if that's wise or not. Like I said, I've never used glitter before, so this will be interesting. Then I wanna catch all this glitter on my envelope below and put it back in my little jar of glitter. And I definitely do not want to get glitter on my transfer. I think that might be kind of interesting. Let me put this into the jar, pour it back into the jar.
funny how it all fit before and now it seems like it will all fit back in the jar. Okay, I'm gonna need a brush to do a little clean up there. Cover up my jar. I'm gonna hold this up a bit. Let me make sure. Now let's catch the name with some gold. I wanna use a different color glitter and the name, so. Not my best job there, cleaning it up, let's see. Okay. I'm going to just set this on aside and come back to it in a moment. I don't want to mix my colors here. So. Oh, nice time to notice that there's a little sprinkle cap, right? Like I said, never used them before. New experience for me here. Live and learn, right? Actually, I do have a brush, a little paintbrush that I was going to use to clean this up, and I didn't bring it in here. Totally forgot about it. In my haste to glitterize everything, I left my brush in the other room. Okay. Now I need to clean this up at the bottom, too, and actually do a little bit more like that. But let's take a look. Move this transfer out of the way. and see what we're looking at here. I think I am gonna hit it, need to hit it with a little bit of a brush to remove the loose pieces of glitter or hit it with um, a hair dryer and blow them off outside or something. But this is basically it and I think it turned out pretty dramatic. Nothing can dim the light that shines from within. Don't let anyone dim your light. Quick and easy. Club Couture. If you'd like to know more information about Club Couture, just comment club below and I'd be gladly glad to send you a link showing you the current um, club transfers. Club Couture does require a three month minimum commitment and then you can, after that you could cancel at any time. But I'm sure that you'll enjoy the exclusive transfers available only for club members and for designers. And for $19.99 plus tax, how can you really beat it? A little envelope of creativity, giving yourself a creative break once a month. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful life.